today, Kilroy goes off the shelf on the Battle of Antietam, which was mainly fought on September 17th, 1862, which is right around the time I'm filming this, and for many is considered the bloodiest day of the Civil War. And one thing that really brought out uh, my interest in trying to cover this for uh, today's Kilroy Goes Off the Shelf was the American Battlefield Trust, go look them up on YouTube, they're doing a 159th anniversary of this battle. And so they kind of walk the battlefield, and here's a shot of it on the old YouTube there, but they're walking the battlefield and they have some historians and they're talking about the various aspects of the battle. So I uh, really want you to kind of go check that out because I found that you know very interesting. If you like battlefields and if you are interested in this particular battle, then you know that's an uh, interesting place or a good resource to kind of look at and get a little bit more context and feel for the battle. As for Glory 3, it's a Richard Berg design. It's a chit pull. You know, some people have hearkened it to being a kind of a simp more simplified version of the great battles of the American Civil War. Uh, it it does vary from that. It does have some simplification uh, in it, but uh, you know, it also has its distractors as well. I mean, one of the issues with Glory is that it you know doesn't really recreate the bloodiness, I guess, of of Antietam. It's it's more of a push. Uh, type system, uh, your it's brigade level, and your units kind of re can recover a little bit quicker than maybe they they could in real life, and so uh, you don't really eliminate your forces as as quickly or as as much uh, as maybe what happened in in real life. So you're just kind of a, a pushing you know the units back across the uh, across the battlefield. Also, the aspect of McClellan, and one of the uh, McClellan is always. Uh, uh, an issue uh, in in the Civil War battle games, and Antietam was is no different. It's one of those situations where you know his delay and his you know reluctance to to push into the battle, you know, is it's kind of hard to you know do that or, or or simulate that from historic aspect because as a union you're going to want to you know do with the forces as as you want to do, and so usually in these kind of situations there are rules to put in there uh, that are that are put in there to kind of penalize you or try to recreate history uh, and sometimes they get a little awkward but uh, on the whole uh, I don't have a lot of uh, Antietam games uh, in fact uh, this is really the only major one I have uh, and um, you know I like it uh, as again it, it has some hair on it uh, like to know what your guys thoughts on what your uh, favorite Antietam game or which which one recreates the battle the best but you know my main reason for raising it up today is because of you know the 159th anniversary and you know the American Battlefield Trust covering some of that and thought that you know it'd be interesting to kind of look at that as well and if and if you go on those videos of the American Battlefield Trust they're covering you know aspects of the um, of the battlefield uh, they'll probably end up covering some of the the more uh, you know common features or the ones that are, are more highlighted in, in, in the battle or in history. You know, you have stuff like, you know, the cornfield, which is right up here between the different uh, uh, east and west woods and the north woods, uh, just north of uh, Dunker Church here. Um, then, uh, you know, a lot of uh, bloody battle went on there. Also, you have the sunken road here or bloody lane as it's, as it's known. Uh, again, after the after the Union kept pushing down here and got to the Bloody Road, there was kind of a, again, another uh, very, um, a Bloody Lane, I should say, another very contentious fight going on there. And then, you know, later on, uh, we even got down to, you know, Burnside Bridge right here. You have the, the Mid Bridge, and then you have the, the Burnside Bridge, which was kind of the, the last parts of the battle was, was the, the fighting going on there. Um, this battle is also known as the Battle of Sharpsburg because here is the uh, uh, town of Sharpsburg right there in the middle. So uh, check out that, um, you know, this is a good time to read up on history on, on Battle of Antietam. It's the 159th anniversary. Check out that uh, Battlefield Trust videos on YouTube. You might find that kind of interesting uh, as they give a little bit more color and context to that battle. <laughs> Thanks for watching.